good morning everybody. Well today is the 5th of September and it is 0900. Hey Mean, come here. Yeah, maybe I don't know what spooked her, but she ran from the living room into the bedroom underneath the bed and now she won't come out. I have no idea what is going on in that girl's head. Well this is day two of living the bachelor's life. And don't believe the hype, it ain't worth it. <laughs> it kind of sucks. It's boring, man. I was in bed, well, I was in the room by 8 o'clock. But then, I watched uh, Grey's Anatomy. I only like that show. Sorry about that. I only like that show the first couple seasons. But when it starts getting political and everything like that, I, I kind of tune out of it. Yeah, I'm on season one. Yeah, I know. I watched it before. It's been a couple months. I said, I'll let me watch it again. Like I said, it's not a bad show until they start talking about the political beliefs, which I don't care about. And then I tune it out. Well, I hope you all, your day went well. Mine was uneventful. Got up at 3 o'clock this morning. I finished the editing of the video that I uploaded today, you know, day one of Bachelor's Life. And then around five, no, it was six. Six o'clock, I laid down, fell asleep until 7.30. Got up and here we are now. With this constant rain we've been having, I haven't been able to do any laundry. No, we don't have a we don't have a clothes dryer, and no, we will never get a clothes dryer. For you guys that think about coming to the Philippines, I'll let you know right now. And I've said it before, and many other vloggers have said it. Electricity in the Philippines is very very expensive, which I don't get because you no know, low income people here but it's very expensive. So, what I have to do is, I'm gonna wash the clothes, and then in our second bathroom, I'm gonna go ahead and hang them up, and then have, have the uh, fan blowing into it. Yeah, I got the aircon on. The temperature's not bad, but the humidity. Right, Mark? Oh, you wanna be on, you wanna be on, you wanna be on the camera? Go ahead, get up there. What do you want to go out? You want to go out? And what do you want? He's been like this since yesterday, man. <laughs> I don't think he knows what he wants. But other than that, man, it's going to be a chill day. I'm doing laundry. I got two loads to do. I'll hang them up in various areas in the house. Can't hang them up outside because we still got wet weather going on. It's going to be like that all the way into next week. Rainy season, deal with it. Other than that, hopefully you stick around, watch the rest of this video. Uh, maybe you enjoy it. And if you want, can you give me a thumbs up? Go ahead and subscribe if you ain't subscribed. It's co it doesn't cost you anything, man, it's free. But I'll talk to you later. Bye for now. Hey, how's everybody doing, man? Well, believe it or not, it's still Thursday the 5th, but it's 19.04. That's the time. That's 7.04 for your non-military type. Uh, it's been an uneventful day. It's been raining all day long today. Did, didn't make an attempt to go out. I just wanted to get out of the house, go for a walk. But as soon as I got out the door, it started raining downpour. I call it Texas rain. So I basically turned around and came back in the house. Now, if Miles was here, she would have kind of been like, let's go, let's go. <laughs> See, people don't understand about Philippines, man. They had Filipinos, Filipinas. They, uh, they pretty much adapt to everything, you know what I'm saying? And their environment, to the rain and the mud. If they have a mudslide, they're like, well, let's clean it up. You know what I'm saying? They don't. They don't let nothing hold them back, for the most part. 
but I did the U2 dive today, and it kind of sparked some memories, you know, how they say how there is, like I touched on it yesterday about the scammers, and uh, I don't know if it's more now than it's ever had, you know, because I can't compare it to anything. But it did bring, bring back a memory one time that when I first got here, first time I ever came to the Philippines to see Miles. Let me get this hot water while I'm talking. Yeah, I came to visit Miles. She was working in Hong Kong and she was flying in. I got here a day early. So I got a room at the Nobu. And I was pretty much, oh, you, you don't want to hear the story about my flight. They lost everything. They lost all my bags and everything like that. And I was like, oh, don't worry about it. We'll take care, you know, we'll take care of it when I get there. The funny thing is, the bag made it all the way to Manila and all of a sudden disappeared. Go figure, right? Well, anyway, that's, that's all water under the bridge. Can't do anything about it now. But uh, I was wait. I was at the Nobu, and down on the first floor by the lobby, there's like a little area. It's like a coffee shop, and you can buy beer there. You can buy buy coffee, soft drinks, and they got a little sitting area. Well, I was sitting there, and there was other there was a there was a couple people, other gentlemen there, and they were from you know there was another American there, there was an Australian. And there was a guy from, I can't remember where it was. I think, I want to say New Zealand, but I don't know. But we were all talking. And they were, the, the game was they were trying to figure out where I was from because of my accent. They couldn't figure it out. I mean, I, they told me, you from Texas? I said, you, no, Texans don't talk like I do, you know. Well, anyway, but there was a gentleman there. And my heart went out to him. I felt so bad for him. And uh, he was from England. He was a man of color. Doesn't make a difference, but as his story progresses, you'll understand why. And there was another, the man from New Zealand, he was also a man of color. And uh, he wasn't, he didn't, how could I say this? He wasn't born in New Zealand. He migrated, or he moved, he's an Englishman. He moved to New Zealand. And the English guy says, you're from England, why'd you move to New Zealand? Nah, they were joking with each other, that's beside the point. But the gentleman, he kept on texting and texting and texting. And I was kept on watching him, you know. And you could see, as we were sitting there, that he was getting frustrated, he was getting upset. I, he had a whole array of emotions going on because I was just looking at his face. He didn't say nothing to us, but I was just watching his face. Then he started talking, he started asking, he goes, uh, how, you know, asking us questions like, how's the cell phone service in the, in the Philippines? And one guy says, zero to none. <laughs> he goes, it's a hit and miss, man. He goes, I, I don't understand it, why the cell phone service is so bad here, but that and the internet. He goes, I don't understand why, but it is. And we're talking and he goes, well, I've been here for two days. And he has an online girlfriend. He's been talking to her for two and a half years. He was sending him her money every month and he finally decided to come to the Philippines and meet him and she was supposed to meet him the day he got there, two days prior to that. She was supposed to meet him there as well. She never showed up. And he kept on texting her and texting her and we're looking at each other, right? And uh, the man from New Zealand He's kind of looking at him. He ain't saying nothing. He's just looking at him. Well, the gentleman that was waiting on the girl, he gets up. I don't know where he went. He went somewhere. But he, he says, hey, can you watch? He had a, had like a bag, like a, uh, a small backpack. And he asked the guy from New Zealand, hey, can you watch that? I'll be right back. I'm going to use the restroom. The guy goes, all right. And when he got up and left, and he was, in, he was quite far away, the guy from England turned around to the guy in New Zealand and says, man, you need to tell him. And he looks at me and goes, and he knew exactly what he was talking about. And he says, that girl has no intentions of being here. 
she, she's either ignoring his texts or he, she's blocked his texts or whatever. She, she scammed him. And he goes, but you being, and he goes, I don't want to sound racist. He goes, but you being a man of the same color as him, you need to talk to him. It, it all, it all, he might take it differently coming from you than if, if you know, he was saying if him or me or somebody else told him. He goes, yeah, I know. And they, he goes, all right, when he comes back, he goes, in about five, ten minutes after he comes back, we'll get up and walk away. And then you can have that conversation with him. He goes, it's not something, it's not funny, okay? The man's heart's breaking. He probably knows deep down inside his gut that he probably most likely got, got scammed, but he doesn't want to admit to himself. So we waited. He came back. We waited about five, ten minutes. I said ten minutes, and, and the guy started talking to me. And he says, hey, did you see the casino yet? And I picked up real quick what he was doing. He wanted me, you know, excuse, excuse for us to get up and go look, because casino is right past the lobby. You go through double doors, and there's the casino. I said, no, nah, I wanted to go check it out. And he goes, I want to show you something in there, man. It's a real easy uh, slot machine. I said, okay, let me, why don't you show it to me? And we left. And, uh, he had a conversation with him. When he got back, you could see the guy was emotionally upset. And he, he just, when we got there, he got up and he left. I think, I don't know, out of embarrassment, but the guy told me he broke down and cried. Not like, oh, but he said, you, you could tell he was getting emotional. And he goes, he's been sending her money. He says he's been sending her equipment, to, what do you say, 200 pounds a month, whatever that is, I don't know. But he says he's been sending her 200 pounds a month. And now, man, and that's the only reason I bring that up. Like I said, I was watching some shows or some videos or vlogs on YouTube. And I was like, and it made me think about that. I was like, man, I've seen the, the end result of somebody getting scammed, you know, somebody getting hurt. He spent all that money, sent all that money to that woman for two and a half years. Spends the money to come here with his dream, you know. And the guy just seemed kind of awkward, you know what I mean? Like, I guess I, I'm not saying he was a nerd. He was a really great guy, really great guy, you know. Because I seen him that night at the restaurant, and I came in there, and he was waving for me. And I walked up to him, and he goes, are you here by yourself? I said, yeah. And he goes, I guess... He said, how did he say this? I'm trying to remember so I can get this. I guess you were also played or lied to or whatever. And I was like, no, no, I'm just, I didn't want to talk about Miles and everything like that. I didn't want to hurt his feelings. You know what I'm saying? I mean, some of you will understand. Some of you are just so cold you don't care. I was like, no. And uh, I said, you want me to sit down and join you? And he says, I appreciate that. And the whole, he never brung it. He ne and I didn't bring it up. I'm not going to bring it up, man. But uh, he didn't bring it up about the girl. And he had pictures of her. And I, he showed me a picture of her when we were down in the lobby before, you know, that eight, that eve, that afternoon. So he, she was a beautiful girl, man. Beautiful. Looked young, though. Looked pretty young. And he was about 45, 50, maybe. I never asked him his age. But that is just, you know, sometimes... I mean, my heart goes out to him. My heart does go out to him, but you got to look at it this way, man. It's, it's, when you look, when, especially the picture of that girl, okay, and you're looking at him. No, he wasn't ugly or anything like that, but he was an older man. And I'm thinking, you know, what, before everything came to, we seen it, you know, we heard, you know, whatever. I was like, what is this girl seeing him? You know what I mean? I mean, beautiful. Beautiful girl. And she didn't look, she looked like she was 18. See, I'm not very good, I'm not a very good judge of guessing people's ages. I just, I mean, over here, they, you know, like everybody tells me, Miles is the same age as me. But she looks younger than me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it, a lot of people say, all oh, the Philippines, when they hit 30, 30, Filipino, a Philippine woman, when they hit a certain age, they just, it's all downhill from there. I think it's, that depends on their environment and 
how they take care of themselves and what kind of life they lead, you know. If they're leaving the party life where they're drinking all the time and, you know, they're dealing with a lot of stress and a lot of bullshit, yeah, they're going to age quit anybody, including myself. I think, to be honest, I've seen people in the military age fast, you know what I mean? And I just, I just base my opinion that way. You know, I've seen guys come in the military, 19, 20, and they look good, and then five, six years later, they're still in the military, and they look like they age like 10, 15 years. So, you know, I, I think it's all your environment. But also, like I said, I feel you just, people just got to watch themselves, man. Don't set yourself up. If, like I said, if it's good to, too good to be true, it most likely isn't, you know. You take a good look at yourself, you know, and then you be talking. This, this is what I told, you know, I told a couple of people. You take a really good beat totally to yourself, okay? Take a real good look in the mirror, all right? And then think to yourself, why is a 20-year-old beautiful woman want with me? You know, that's just... How much more can I say? And, and I don't understand how they say, well, she loves me. Well, have you had, you know, do you interact with each other? Oh, yeah, we do it all the time on the Internet. No, 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 no. In person. Have you interacted with each other in person? No. And you're like, then, okay. All right. I don't know what to tell them, you know. Now, there were successful relationships that they did meet online, and they did talk for a while, you know, but they're rare. Let's be honest, they're rare. Well, me and Miles started talking. We met through, like, two mutual friends, and also she was, she was friends with somebody that I was friends with on Facebook, and that's where we started talking. She never asked for money. Never ask for money. We just talk, you know, and we became really good friends. We never talked about sex. We never. She never sent me any nudies or anything like that. We just we were friends. I think that's why we are now the way we are now. You know, we're friends. We were friends, and then it just grew from there. But I just, I just hope. I just. I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's funny at all when guys get taken advantage of. I don't think it's funny at all when guys get hurt. That's just the way I am. I, I, and I'm always this way, you know, like, I might not like somebody for what they believe in. I don't, I don't like what they believe in and I don't like the way they thought, but I have nothing against them personally because I, you don't know them. You understand what I'm saying? I don't judge people from what they believe in, you know, because... Some people just believe everything they hear or everything they see. They think it's cut and dry, it's black or white, you know, it's, that's what they see and that's what they believe. No, I don't know. Maybe it's being gullible. Maybe it's being alone and just want somebody in your life. Hey, you don't care who that somebody is. But I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm just thinking out loud, man. Uh, I'm pretty sure that deep down inside, they know. You know, they 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 know that this most likely it's all bulls BS. You know, that the only thing she's attracted to is your wallet. Sorry to say that, but like I said, that not all there is there is that one in a million, or that two in a million, or three in a million, whatever. And if guys like myself. Met, met their partner online, and it's working out great like myself. That's great. But remember, there is guys out there that are being taken advantage of. You know, I know, for, I know there's people out there that got great relationships, you know. But there's also guys that are relationship-less, if you want to call it that, you know. Well, I think I talk too much, man. Yeah, I probably piss some people off. Like I said, I feel I feel sorry for the people to be taken advantage of because they got a good heart and they're kind. But you know what? You know what the really scary thing is? Them type of poop, 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 
them type of people, the first time they're screwed over, that's it, they're done. And they put, they put that wall around them and they don't trust nobody no more because the heart was broken. And then they'll, they stop looking. And that's it, you know, and they're, they're lonely. All right, man, I'll let you all go. Hopefully you made it this far. Yeah, I'm drinking a cup of coffee. I don't want to go to bed all the way, man. I'm tired of getting up at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm tired of it. So I'll go ahead and let you all go. But remember, you be good to yourself. You be good to each other. And stay happy. Ciao. Bye for now.